Okay, the next step is to gather our skirt. Um, so I would like to show you real quick here um, how I do that. And I just pulled a scrap piece of fabric um, just as an example. Uh, in the tutorial, it actually suggests that you do one basting stitch across this with about a quarter of an inch, um, in, in a quarter of an inch. And then I know in the tutorial for gathering, it suggests doing a very long stitch with a high tension. So I did um, a nine or a 10 tension and the longest stitch that I had. And this is how it came off the machine gathered. Um, it won't be quite enough to fit my skirt to my bodice, but it's a, a good start. What I like to do is put a pin at one end and I just wrap the pin, the um, tail of my threads around that so that it holds it tight. Because um, if you start pulling this end, it's just going to pull those through. So you want to be sure that this end is secure somehow. And then you just pull your bobbin thread, so the bottom, the bottom thread here, and you just, just give it a nice gentle tug and you can see that it pulls that fabric together nicely. And then you just hold this tight and you just spread those gathers nice and even throughout the whole line. Okay, and then when I get to the end, I like to go ahead and put another pin in there just to hold it so it doesn't unravel, ungather, just like that. And then what you want to do is make sure that your skirt piece is about the same width as your bodice, which I've done here. And then you just want to make sure that your side seams are lining up, your center front, center back, make sure it's all spaced evenly. That's the biggest key here. Um, what I've done in the past too, just to hold um, the gathers together, is I go through and do a little zigzag stitch. Um, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It kind of depends on the project, but sometimes it does hold those gathers in um, nice because I, I notice when I'm sending it through the serger, sometimes they get a little wonky and stretched out. So um, I'll probably go ahead and go over this with a zigzag real quick and then we're going to attach the gathered skirt to our bodice. Okay, our skirt is gathered. Uh, we are going to go ahead and attach the bodice to the skirt. So what I've done is marked center back, center front on my skirt. I did my center front on my bodice. And what we wanna do basically is right sides together. So I'm just going to flip this right over like that. I'm going to match up that center front point like so and then I'm going to match up my side seam with the, my side seam of my bodice like that. side seam of my bodice the side seam of my skirt like that. and then flip it over And then I'm going to take the edge of my bodice here and I'm going to line up that all the way to the edge of the placket. This side here, clip that. Then I'm going to take my other side of my bodice and I'm going to line that up right to the edge of the other placket. And I actually had my belt tie on the wrong side, um, so I just went and took that off and put it on the correct side. So the belt loop should be on the side that has your button holes, because this side is going to lay flat like that. Okay. And what I always do too is clip everything and then I kind of turn it right side out so I can see what it's going to look like when it's actually sewn together uh, to make sure that I have everything spaced right. Um, so at this point I'm going to just go through and just make sure that all my gathering fits between my, t my two or my quarter points um, you know and just kind of fix any little gaps where 
gathering that needs to be evened out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then it all actually looks pretty good. Put a few extra clips in there and then I'm going to go ahead and serge raw edge to raw edge all the way around. Okay, we are on the final stretch. We have our skirt attached to our bodice. What I'm going to do is go through and just get all these little little um, stray threads cut off. Make sure everything is laying flat. Make sure I didn't miss any um, spots here in this seam. And then we're going to top stitch the bodice to the skirt um, just so that that little seam in there doesn't get flipped around and wonky on us when our little girls are wearing these beautiful dresses. Uh, yeah, and then final touches. Um, if you skipped hemming uh, on hem day, go ahead and get your dress hemmed. I know that's one of my least favorite chores. Uh, we want to go ahead and finish our closure in the back. So if you're doing buttons, add on your buttons. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add snaps onto mine. So I will do that shortly. And then, um, yeah, if you see any little basting stitches poking through, go ahead and get those out of there. And then we add our belt, our pretty little belt. And we are done, ladies. Look at how cute. I'm thrilled with how this turned out. Thank you so much for sewing along. Uh, I cannot wait to see your creations. And we have some great prizes to give away. Um, so thanks for joining us. Good luck in the drawing. And please, please, please post all of your pictures. Um, so everybody can see your beautiful Wendy dresses. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.